In new at six, it's a hydroelectric plant built in the 1930s to provide power to surrounding areas. Lake Gonzalez, it's roughly 70 miles east of San Antonio. It's also a spot known for boating, fishing, other year round outdoor fun. A lake whose future is now uncertain after a spillgate failure has essentially drained that reservoir. As Jonathan Coto reports, people are fighting not only for the lake's existence, but for the wildlife there as well. Lake Gonzalez, 12 miles west of Gonzalez, no longer spans nearly 700 acres. That was up until August 3rd. This video shows a large tree lodged in the spillgate. The Guadalupe Blanco River Authority says the weight of the tree and the resulting water pressure may have led to that failure. Now people who live in the area, like Christina Price, are concerned about the lake's future. Our kids may never be able to sit there and go back to what we had as a lake. Believe it or not, just a couple of months ago, on 4th of July, Christina and her family were swimming where I'm actually now standing, stepping out from the lake on this ladder well and onto their dock, looking back at jet skis and pontoon boats. Well, that's not the case anymore. That lake has since disappeared. Locals in the area say it is also impacting the ecosystems, wildlife and possible endangered species. Seven-year-old Frank Williams Davis, who has grown up fishing on the waters of Lake Gonzalez, says something needs to be done and fast. Catfish, gar, bass, anything in this slough that's a fish that has to have water to to breathe is going to die. GBRA engineers declined to comment when we asked about what they are doing to fix the spillgate. The GBRA website says options for repairs have not been available and there have also been challenges with funding. There are solutions out there. It's just GBRA is not wanting to sit there and sit down with us so that we can all come to a conclusion on what we can do to move forward and go past this. People in Gonzalez say they will continue to fight for the lake and the wildlife in that area. I'm really sad because this used to be the spot. Whoever's doing this, they're just mean. Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News. The locals are expected to host a series of meetings in the upcoming weeks to discuss solutions and say they want their lake back. We'll be following the development of the story and update you as details become available.